Within the last 15 minutes, the Madison County Sheriff spoke about the department's investigation into a deadly Madison police shooting. Way 31 Sydney Martin now joins us live to answer some of our questions. Uh, first of all, Sydney, just give us a quick overview of what the sheriff had to say today. Dan Naja, the sheriff addressed us about for about 10 minutes this afternoon. I actually just walked out of their training center uh, room where we had an address from him. Now, he told us this afternoon that there was not one gun, but two guns inside of that vehicle, something that we had not heard prior today. He also told us the van where this shooting took place and where the Fletcher family was inside when the Madison Police Department arrived is in, is in their custody still as it is a part of the investigation. Dan Naja. Thank you, Sydney. Now, this is the first time that we heard about this second weapon. So, what can you tell us about the second weapon? Naja, we know it was in the back of that van, and they said uh, Mr. Fletcher, Dana Fletcher, did not have any access to that gun when the shooting happened. However, they didn't tell us what kind of gun it was, what caliber it was, no details about it, just that it was in the back of the van. Now, that other gun that he had, they said, was in between the driver's seat and that center console. They told us that he, it was there when they first showed up, and he pulled for the weapon after Madison police officers arrived. Sydney, even though the sheriff's office is investigating this shooting, the sheriff made it pretty clear the city of Madison and their police department are the only ones who can talk about that body cam video. Anything new from the city at this point? The city said they will not release that body cam uh, to me repeatedly over the last week. Now, the city, Madison police, excuse me, said that they cannot speak about this investigation any further. And over the past few days, have repeatedly told me to contact the Madison city attorney. I've reached out to her. She hasn't called me instead. I've heard from the Madison city spokeswoman who told me they won't talk about the investigation and won't put me in contact with their city attorney. They also won't tell me if any of those five officers. Officers that were placed on administrative leave when this shooting happened are back at work. Now, we know two of those officers did fire their weapons. We don't know how many times uh, Mr. Fletcher was shot, but they said uh, multiple shots were fired at him. Now, the city uh, told me that the sheriff's office told them they can't talk about if their officers are on administrative leave still, which is standard protocol. However, the sheriff's office told me they never told the city that they can't talk about administrative policies. All right. Thanks very much, Sid.